The sitar has its roots in ancient India, but a group of devotees is keeping that music alive in West Virginia. Glennis Board brings us their story. Trinity of Hindu religion are the three gods, and their wives are the, actually the three goddesses. The Veena itself came from one of the three goddesses, Saraswati. She was supposed to have played this instrument, so it's as old as the religion itself. This is an instrument that is. Uh, of course, naturally made from wood. This is the wood of the jackfruit. It's a tropical fruit. The tree, the wood is from the tree. And then all these carvings are handmade like inlays. And then the, all the noise, sound comes through these holes basically from this part of the instrument. And then this part is a, like a dried gourd. It's just for balancing to support and to make it easier to hold, basically. These four top strings here are the melody strings, and the three bottom strings are called the drone strings. When you play, we have these metal picks on the right hand fingers to pluck the instrument here. And we try to grow this, this nail on this finger so to do that without hurting of your fingers, basically. And then, to make it easier to slide on the strings, we soak the fingers like an like oily cotton, so make it so it will be easier to slide. The instrument itself has 24 fixed metal frets. These are all fixed, as opposed to the one on sitar. The range of the instrument is three and a half octaves. So, itself is very, very, very old, BC. There are the four books of humankind were supposed to be Vedas, V-E-D-A-S. And of the four, the third one, it's called the Sama Veda. The music is supposed to have started from that, that Veda described music. So it goes back to about 2000 to 2500 years BC. Indian music itself is like a two-thirds of it is 
improvised music only one third or maybe 40 percent is like uh, written music so whenever you uh, performing or when you are playing you always have a written part and an improvised part <laughs> My parents and grandparents, both of them loved music. So they wanted me to learn some kind of music, but my mother learned as a, she was young, violin and uh, singing, vocal. So she thought that would be cool and nice if I can learn veena. So to start, I started because they wanted me to learn, but afterwards, as I grew older, I got really interested in them mean instrument itself because it's so complete and a well-rounded instrument. Whenever you listen to Veena, or for, for example, any music actually when, when I hear, I would like to see the feeling of the performer behind that kind of depict, try to depict, depict the actual mood or whatever emotion behind the raga. Raga is a melodic formula. It, it has a melody, but, and it has a construction and constructed by scales scales of seven notes. The same as Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Salati, the same notes are Sa, Ri, Ga, Ma, Pa, Da, Ni. They stand for actually longer names. They are like acronyms. Sa stands for Shajam. Ri stands for Rishabham. Gandharam. M for Ma for Machamam. Panchamam. Dhaivatam. Nishadam. Each raga is supposed to express a certain feeling. They are meant to express the emotions and moods of the human beings or in general the world around us. When you understand the words and the meaning behind the raga, you can really perform to your uh, fullest extent. I mean, to the pleasure of the listeners as well as the performer himself.